Hola estudiantes, I hope you're doing well and I hope you're studying this week's um, grammar lesson, which is el subjuntivo, the subjunctive, which is a mood in Spanish used to talk about um, actions, events, or conditions that are um, hypothetical or contrary to fact. So one use of this subjunctive is if you have two clauses, and a clause, which is a group of words, each clause has a subject and there's a change of subject and the main independent clause expresses expectations, wishes, or hopes. Like, for example, the sentence I have here, Yo quiero que tú estudies. Since I'm expressing expectations or hopes, wishes in my main independent clause, the verb in the dependent clause must be in the subjunctive. So, Yo quiero que tú estudies. That verb estudiar in the subjunctive is tú estudies. Remember how to conjugate verbs in the subjunctive? You always start with the yo form, drop the o, you add the opposite vowel, like the verb estudiar would be yo estudie, tu estudies, ella estudie, nosotros estudiemos, vosotros estudies, and ellos estudien. So, so look at the conjugation of the verbs in the subjunctive, and then if you have a verb or an, ex personal, or an ex personal expression in the main independent clause that expresses wishes or hopes, Verbs like querer, desear, aconsejar, recomendar, sugerir, permitir, prohibir, any of those verbs that express expectations, wishes, or hopes, if you have those in the main clause, then the verb in the dependent clause must be in the present subjunctive. Mm -hmm.